So let's look at the differences between the A code and the C code in the famous 289 used in the 64 and a half through 67 and into 68 Mustangs. First of all, we've got a two barrel versus a four barrel engine. Here on the left, we show the two barrel cast iron intake used on the C code. On the right, the four barrel cast iron intake used on the A code. The carburetors that sit on top of those manifolds are also slightly different. Obviously the four barrel has two extra barrels, uh, but some of the specs of the carburetors themselves are just a little different. The Autolite is a fairly simple carburetor, very easy to work on, very easy to repair. The uh, two barrel has the Venturi at 1.145 inches in diameter. Now the Venturi is the center section that the airflow goes through. That's not where the throttles are, but the right above that, what uh, and that's what determines your uh, your flow, your cubic feet per minute. So the two barrel has 300 cubic feet per minute, and the A code, the four barrel, has 480 CFM. And that's a slightly smaller diameter, 1.080, and it's the same on all four barrels. So it's the same uh, front, your primaries and secondaries. The next difference, once you've got the gas going into the engine, is in the uh, pistons themselves. The C code engine, the two barrel engine, has a dished piston. And that dished piston ends up lowering the compression ratio since there's more volume in that combustion chamber. It only gives you a 9.3 to 1 compression ratio as opposed to the flat top piston using the A code, which gives you a 10 to 1 compression ratio. Now, the rest of the engine is the same. The camshaft, which I originally thought was different between the two, is the same. The block is the same. The crankshaft is the same. Heads are the same, valve train is the same. So it is basically the same engine and all you're doing is bolting on uh, intake manifold and the carburetor, plus the different pistons. When you order an A-code or a C-code engine in the base car, that car is gonna come with a single exhaust system. To get the dual exhaust system, you've gotta order the GT option package and that also requires either the A-code or the K-code engines. So base car, A-code or C-code, single exhaust. Dual exhaust, it's gotta be the GT with the A or the K-code. Now the power numbers we see for the A-code and the C-code don't specify whether it's single or dual exhaust in any of the literature, any of the manuals, any of the specifications. So my assumption is that power difference is based on the same common exhaust system. And so let's take a look at those performance numbers. C-code 200 horsepower at 4,400 RPM, the A-code, bump set up 25 horsepower at 4,800 RPM. So that means you've got a power peak or a power curve that extends beyond what the C-code has. So you're getting more horsepower at higher RPM, which means more basically performance at top speed. Now, the one I'm really interested in is that torque curve. And that's where I think that difference really comes into play between the C-code and the A-code. So the C-code, you've got 282 foot-pounds of torque at 2,400 RPM, the A-code, raises that number to 305, but 800 RPM higher at 3200 RPM. So if you imagine as you're pulling through the gears, accelerating through the gears, and you're watching that, you know, that uh, uh, tachometer climb, your peak torque, which is your peak acceleration, is going to happen at 2400 RPM in the C code. In the A code, you're gonna pass, you're gonna keep pulling hard, harder, past that 2400 RPM point that the C code peaked out at and the A code is still increasing the torque. Now you're still accelerating, but the C code is now accelerating less than the A code between that 2400 RPM and 3200 RPM. So the A code is gonna have that better mid-range uh, acceleration, which is where it really comes into play. And that's really where when you're driving the car where it's gonna come into play. So when you're accelerating on the freeway, passing through traffic, um, you know, even doing stoplight Grand Prix, um, as that torque curve hits in, you're gonna pull better with that A code. So I'm sure I like the 225 horsepower, the extra 25 ponies, but it's that torque curve, I think, which makes the bigger difference between the A code and the C code. Now keep in mind that any GT car has a dual exhaust, so those numbers are the, shall we say, the raw engine numbers. In the real world, 
a GT car with a dual exhaust is going to have a bit more performance than a single exhaust car because there's less restriction. You're in effect going to get more power, more you know, a fuel mixture flow through going into the engine and coming out of the engine. So you get a bit more performance with that dual exhaust. And that applies whether it's an aftermarket dual exhaust or the GT you know, factory dual exhaust. And so that's your difference between the A code and the C code. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you liked it and hope to see you in the next video.